now more than ever, but over the years, if you have an English speaking umpire and you have a Spanish speaking player, that Spanish speaking player is going to be at a disadvantage. So my conversation with, with Dan, and again, we're just like, I'm just sharing these conversations. I think they're important to get out there. It's really about how do we even the playing field a little bit? You have a Spanish speaking player who is not guaranteed. These are brand new rules, like not guaranteed to understand um, something that they've been doing for a really long time because of the language barrier. Now you're layering on brand new rules and the language being spoken at the plate is, is English. I just don't think that's fair. I don't think it's good. So what I think makes a lot of sense is, and this is what I shared with our, our bench, is um, any native Spanish-speaking player that we have at the plate, Right now, that's Tyro. If there's anything that Tyro doesn't understand, he can call somebody out, have that conversation together, whether that's Nick Ortiz or Pedro Guerrero. Um, I just think it's important that we have a more even playing field there. It's just the disadvantage is pretty large.